Hi, Peculiar People family. Wanted to pop on today and share some important updates about central bank digital currencies and why it's so important to educate yourself about the system that is uh, coming. CBDCs are coming down the pipeline and I'm just gonna give you a brief overview, not a long video, but what really is so amazing to me is that most of the churches are not warning their, uh, you know, the body. They are not preparing the flock. And it takes people like me, and I, I'm finding so many underground, I call them underground servants, where we're just stepping up and sharing what we're learning with uh, you know everybody because it's what we are called to do, to preach the gospel, to warn people. Um, Satan is working overtime right now, and it is crazy how things are coming to fruition. So we're gonna talk a little bit about central bank digital currency, um, what central banks are, why it's different than um, than Bitcoin and so you can just educate yourself and do some research so you may have heard this if you already know this you don't probably don't need to listen to the rest of it but we have uh, you know our banking system is revolved around we have central banks that govern the nation's uh, banking systems monetary policy they're called central banks the biggest, uh, one of the biggest is the Federal Reserve here in the United States. We've had, it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna go under here. Um, we have, you know, all the, the Bank of England, uh, the uh, International Monetary Fund, you can go on and on. There's about 20 of them or so, five main ones, 20 of them, I think. But anyway, that's just, you know, picture the ones on top of all the banks that kind of govern the policy of a nation's uh, currency and uh, they help fight inflation. That's why you always see here, the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's coming up and gonna you know, tighten monetary policy. Well, this system has been implemented years ago and it's not even, this is a private entity. This is not a public system under the government. This is actually a private entity. Do your research, it's crazy. Uh, you can look up, there's a book called uh, The Creature from Jekyll Island, and it's how the uh, Federal Reserve was created. And it's definitely uh, not a system that is a, a free system, put it that way. So it's all coming to fruition now. So we have, uh, obviously now we have digital transactions, right? Um, I can send something on PayPal, that's a digital transaction, but the differences between a central bank issuing their digital currency and just you know digital currency right now in the system is that we can go uh, peer to you know peer to peer the banks to bank without having anything centralized, meaning at you know controlling everything. Now, when we go into this banking, this new central bank digital currency, everything is gonna be controlled. All of your purchases are gonna be run through the central banks bypassing you know, these other banks. Um, so the regulation and the centralization is now so stringent at the top where they can literally shut off your funds with your social credit score, if you didn't get vaccinated, if you, they, they find something on social media that they don't like, um, they can absolutely do, uh, it's, it's really about control. Most of you probably know about this, but for those of you that are not aware of it, it's important to understand that it's different than Bitcoin. Bitcoin is decentralized. They want you to think that Bitcoin is the same as CBDCs. Yes, it's a digital dollar, it's a digital token, and it has blockchain technology, meaning that each uh, blockchain is kind of another thing you maybe want to educate yourself about. But blockchain works where there's many different computers checking each, like they, they, they go, like let's say you make a transaction on Bitcoin. It has to be checked by certain amount of uh, ledgers and things like that. It can get complicated, but in a nutshell, there's checks and balances, many checks and balances. It can't, uh, as far as I know, this cannot be centralized because there's the general public involved. When you have central banks, this is not Bitcoin because they control it. They control the coin. So this is where the big deception is going to be. And um, when we think about China, 
China has the digital yuan. They're coming out with the real, uh, they are basically are already in enslavement. They have, if you look at any of their videos from China where literally you go into a restaurant or whatever and your face pops up, your credit score, your, your uh, social score, uh, ESG is another term you need to learn. It's called environmental social governance. This is all happening right now. So uh, the entire world is going to the system. Even third world countries are already developing digital, these digital uh, currencies, uh, central currencies, central bank currencies, and it's going to be implemented. This is happening. There's, uh, there's different phases. You can go look up the phases of the, the CBDCs and you'll see we are in the, uh, Right now, I think they just launched in New York uh, in the trial, like basically in the pilot in certain areas. And uh, many people will accept this because they just, they're not educated to know that this is going to be their enslavement. And this is just moving us into the internet of things where everything is gonna be connected. Um, you know, it's just so amazing when prophecy comes out, you know, the mark of the beast, how we see that this is so, just happening right before our eyes where we're not going to be able to buy or sell anything unless we are in their system in the B system so now that you have this overview what do you do about it okay the first thing is we do not fear because if we have God on our side we know that there is no one that could come against us um, we are his and even in the flesh if we even have to die for our faith we know where we're going and there should be no fear about the things of this world because we know prophecy is un un unveiling we know this is going to happen there's not going to be any major revolution or you know people are going to stand up and and this this system is here this system is controlled by the antichrist it's here and now it's how many people are going to accept this system so i'll just tell you what i've done i have diversified as much as possible paid off any debt my car is paid off our house is almost paid off um you know uh, you know and 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 just have a certain amount of supply of food uh but you can't go crazy you know how can you prep for 20 years you can't you have to trust the lord and his promises um his children are not going to be under his wrath he will give you the protection you need um supernaturally and we have to really believe that and trust God. Um, this is where like the fear of the Lord, um, the, the fear of man should be, uh, you know, don't fear the body, which man can destroy, but fear the soul. Like fear, fear God, which, which can destroy the soul. But, and not in a way like, oh, I'm afraid of you, God, but more like, this is all coming to pass, God. I believe you. This is like, I'm in awe. Um, and just be aware of these schemes that are coming out and they're going to seem really good because they'll probably give you some money in the account, you know, sign up, get $500, transfer your funds, transfer this, and it's going to be a rollout. So it's not all of a sudden, okay, everybody today, you've got to go digital. They're going to roll it out. They're going to see, they're going to test it. They're going to see how many people will accept it. They're going to make it seem like it's just the same as just digital. Like, oh, we're just, it's the same thing. Just no more dirty cash. Um, and we have to band together to uh, resist this as individuals as much as we can. And um, even if we do end up going into, let's say, uh, we don't know when the Lord is going to return, how much of this we're actually going to see, like how much do the believers have to be a part of, uh, you know, even introducing the system. It could be, you know, still years away till the Lord returns, but we're still gonna have to live at, between now and then, obviously. So you get yourself prepared with, uh, you know, as much as it's, it's, I should say, sanely prepared, because we have a lot of people that are insanely prepping, which I don't, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I do feel like the Lord wants us to be prepared to an extent, but then there has to be the trust. Just like the manna falling from heaven every day, um, God provided for them and he loves when we believe him and he will bless those people that trust him, that prepare and trust. 
So I hope this video helped you. Let me know um, if it did. And if you have any questions, I have a lot, a lot of resources about that, but it's important to educate yourself. God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.